Hello, the internet. I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the slow-mo guys. I'm almost giddy with excitement. Yeah, I can't wait. This We've got cool. a rocket here. We're, we're here in Indiana at Purdue University, where some very smart students have made this rocket. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This is a few boffins out there. This is a G motor, G type motor, and it uses the same solid fuel as a space shuttle. Like the solid rocket booster. Yeah, the solid rocket. Except it's uh, made of bog roll and plywood. <laughs> <laughs> Slight difference. Slight difference there, yeah. Um, also, this is pretty cool. The bottom part, the rocket motor, goes from here to here, yeah? And by the time it gets to here, it's going at 130 miles an hour. Right? And these things can break the speed of sound. So in like four feet, it's, it's accelerated to 130 miles an hour? Yes, yeah. And it goes over 1,000 feet. We're going to need the fast camera for this. We are, yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's send it to the moon. Absolutely. Well, just shy. <laughs> just shy. A lot shy. So for the close-up, we'll shoot on the V2511 at 28. 0.5 thousand frames per second. Ooh, fast. We're going to need it. Very fast. And uh, we'll get the wide on the old, uh, the old 4K over there. Crisp. Crisp. So we need the crisp wide and the, and yeah. the slow tight. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, I've got a job as well. This is what I'm excited about. You're going to be carrying behind something over there. I'll be filming. I've got the key of dreams. Oh, look at that. What you do is, very similar to the space shuttle. Yeah. You actually hook it up to a car, right? <laughs> <laughs> NASA do this. They sacrifice the car every time. You didn't know that. True no. fact. So I'm gonna stick it in this uh, little sort of exciting pad, and when the light goes off, I'll push go, and hopefully that thing is gonna absolutely just disappear. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Lovely. It's so much brighter than our surroundings. I kind of want to just do a super dark one. All oh, right, so just you can like expose a, basically those. obliterate all the surroundings, but yeah. just so we can see a slightly more detail. I don't. I, I think it'll still blow out white, but you'll see a little bit more. So now we're going to get a close up of that. Uh, it's very bright, very sparky. So I'm going to move the camera in. And I'm going to turn the exposure way down. So it's actually going to be a very dark image until the rocket ignites and then hopefully we should see some lovely detail there. Until the meaty part. We'll see all the, the rocket meat. Very close. Very I'm gonna close. get even closer. I'm gonna get even closer. I can get that and you in the same frame here. <laughs> so at this point in the video we're just gonna repeat the same rocket and I was focused on getting that fast camera right up in there for the extreme close up and the wide was kind of secondary at this point. We've already got the wide, it's going to be the same for this one. So I don't have any footage of this, but I do have my mic audio of me putting out this question. Does anyone want to have a go on the Phantom and uh, track the rocket? <laughs> get, try and give it a go. So one of the students volunteered and I ran him through the whole thing. I just said, follow the rocket up, press the red button within four seconds. Don't bother looking at the screen, look at it with your eye and just jam the handle down because it will be that fast. And there's not really any risk to it. If the shot doesn't work, that's fine. We've still got the close-up. He absolutely nailed it. And we'll see his shot in just a little bit. Okay, you ready? Yeah. 
I think I'm in the GoPro shot here as well. <laughs> right, okay. Right, five, four, three, two, one. this time but uh, by my calculations that's four GoPros we've got. <laughs> another casualty. Yeah another GoPro casualty. It looks like a much bigger shuttle because it's taken because it's so <laughs> yeah. slow it's like it's like, like a really big one, but it's actually just gone up yeah. 130 miles an hour. If it wasn't for the PVC and diction, yeah. uh, <laughs> that would look like a NASA shot. We could have put like a really accurate model of a person there. It yeah, would look massive. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Little bits that is of so cool. Man. See, that's where the exposure's good here. Because if I was at the old exposure, all of that would be white. Oh, you can see all the sparks there. hitting the pad, and then, yeah. Yeah, but there's actually yellow detail. That is like music video worthy. Look at that. <laughs> We thought like a, a rocket could do that for That's cool. It's raining sparks. Mm -hmm. I love that. That is pure class. If you nailed this, I'd be annoyed. Oh, 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 oh. Play. Never used a phantom before. <laughs> you can now retire. You want to yeah. replace Dan? <laughs> okay, so it got windier and we took some weight out of the top of that last one because uh, we wanted it to go faster and further. But it meant it kept falling over, so I had to put dictionaries on the floor in classic slow guy style. Yeah, don't, don't have any sandbags or anything <laughs> useful, but we do have two what dictionaries. The dictionaries, yeah, yeah, slap them down. But we are at university. That was awesome. Loved it. Uh... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> scary. Yeah. We, uh, we retrieved the GoPro. Yes! It was, uh, it was wow. in a tree. You say we did, we were filming. We had nothing to do with it. We yeah. had a very talented team of GoPro rescuers coming. Just for that purpose. <laughs> Get Just out in the case tree. you lost a GoPro. It was like 20 feet in the branches, apparently. I thought some of that footage was lovely. Can you keep that rock Sorry, away from my I'll face? point away. Cheers. I'm amazed that they went so high that I had time to trigger both cameras, then run to the DSLR, pick it up, and still see it in yeah. the sky. Apart from my job of pushing the button, <laughs> I was trying to find it because at one point it went like 2,000 feet and all I could see was smoke. I was like, where, where is it? I've got no idea. Just. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Special thanks to Purdue University in Indiana for having us and, uh, you know, letting us launch rockets. <laughs> yeah. That's class. That's probably the highest bog rollers ever got. <laughs> right. Uh, well. Feel free to follow us on Twitter as well. Buy a shirt and uh, subscribe. We got a second channel too. Oh, yeah. Usually I'm playing pranks on Dan. He's not so happy about it, but... Yeah. I have a great time over there on the second channel. To make up for that, I'm going to go and play with these rockets again. Yeah. And you, you do the camera stuff. Fix what, clean up? Yeah, just clean up. I'm going to go launch more of these, okay? All right. Yeah.